Well, Emmanuel Macron's government in France seem really to have lost the plot um, in complete meltdown. Of course, this over the Australian cancellation of a deal to buy French diesel electric submarines in favour of nuclear power technology uh, provided by Brexit UK and America. And I think what this shows you, this whole uh, episode and this French aggression, really, in terms of some of their language towards the UK, shows a real insecurity at the heart of many of those in the EU. They know that the European Union is diminished uh, with the UK cash cow no longer there. They fear uh, that Brexit UK will thrive out on the world stage, providing a blueprint for others to leave the EU. And look, let's face it, even the EU's chief Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, running for the pre French presidency now on a Eurosceptic platform. And so it's in that context that we now see uh, these French attacks from the French government on Brexit UK, attacks on Boris Johnson, attacks on the British government uh, after the French really being embarrassed because of this new UK, Australia, America pact out there in the big wide world. Just to give the context on this, obviously the UK has given the French huge amounts of money to deal with illegal migration. They've been completely useless, the authorities, on really getting a handle on that. Uh, we've seen consistent criticism from the French government on the UK's vaccine strategy. Uh, France even accusing the UK of blackmail at one point. Emmanuel Macron himself completely embarrassing himself, if you remember, on the Oxford vaccine. And France even outrageously threatening to cut off Jersey's electricity supply. So we've seen a pattern uh, of continued digs from the French, as I say, I think there's a feeling uh, from Europhiles within the EU, certainly Macron's government, uh, an insecurity there about Brexit UK thriving, hence we're getting these digs all the time now. Uh, but I think they've totally lost the plot over this, this pact. I mean, you've now got, and the word treason is now getting thrown about in terms of this Aussie deal. France retreating from the world. Remember that? A lot of Remainers were talking about Brexit, meaning the UK being isolated. In fact, we're doing deals around the world. And you've now got a situation where France is recalling ambassadors to the US and Australia. And it gets even more petty and pathetic than that. Because it's even been reported that the French decision not to recall the French ambassador to the UK was also meant as some sort of snub to Boris Johnson. I mean, this is petulant, pathetic stuff, isn't it? And yes, there's been more uh, digs from the French government, sadly, towards Brexit UK, dubbing the UK a junior partner. French Europe Minister Clement Bouin, and he's got form on this. Again, I think someone deeply insecure about the fact that Brexit UK uh, will thrive outside of the EU. And just uh, and before you see these comments from Clement Bouin, who is the French Europe Minister, just think about it this way. When is the last time you saw a British minister comment on French politics in this way? And yet this is what we're getting from the French now. Uh, quoted as saying, our British friends explained to us they were leaving the EU to create global Britain. We can see that this is a return into the American lap. Also quoted as saying, the UK is clearly trying to find its feet. Perhaps there was a lack of thought about the strategic future. Today they are hiding in the American fold. I hope there will not be their policy for the decades to come. And in a second attack, saying we see through this partnership, this strategic alliance and after the Kabul crisis, that global Britain seems to be more about a US junior partner than working with different allies. As I said, when is the last time you saw British politicians in the British government talk about the French, for that matter, any other European country in this way? They're clearly rattled deeply, as I say, insecure, I think, about the fact that Brexit UK has already embarrassed them doing uh, deals with the likes of America, Australia. The project fear lies, haven't been completely and utterly disproven. And yeah, as I say, with the French election on the horizon now, with even Michel Barnier running as a Eurosceptic and Macron being paid quite closely in the polls by Marine Le Pen, it seems to me that Emmanuel Macron's government is in complete and utter meltdown and this obsession with knocking Brexit UK looks increasingly unhinged, petty and pathetic. That's what I think, guys. Let me know what you make of all of this down in the comments below. Make sure you do hit subscribe and the bell so you don't miss my next video. And of course, as ever, guys, thanks so much for watching.